Hello again, everyone. Um, so I, I'll repeat myself. I'm Mike Smith. I'm a software engineer at Google, and I work on Agent Agent. Um, I'm here to talk to you about uh, kind of where we came from with A2A and some of the things that we're looking forward to in the future. Um, and I wanted to start with what is A2A, right? What is Agent Agent? Um, the one line here is basically what we're looking for is an open protocol to determine how agents can communicate together over a network. And I wanted to motivate that a little bit with the like why is A2A. Um, and uh, this may not be news, but uh, there's some interest in AI recently. And uh, people are starting to try and figure out how like how do I squeeze actual value out of AI, AI right? How do I how do I get LLMs to do things I want? And so the world is kind of kind of turning towards agents. They want agents to be able to do real world things for them on their behalf. And so there's this explosion of people interested in both building agents and building agent platforms. And uh, at, in Google, at Google Cloud, we're building products that we want to use to bring agents together to help people solve real world problems. And so practically, like a, as a very pragmatic problem, we have to ask ourselves, like, how do I make a call to this agent? How do I communicate with this agent? And when we looked at the landscape, we felt, well, there's kind of an open need for someone to address this problem. Um, and so we developed Agent Agent, and it's now part of the Linux Foundation, as announced earlier. Very excited about that. Um, and uh, we kind of designed this protocol to specifically handle like the agentic interactions that we foresee. And I like to think of it as being basically composed of two components, which uh, the first of this is the agent card. So the agent card is a JSON document that agents are, are expected to expose for others to know who they are, um, what they can do and how you can communicate with them. So the who they are is like, what's my name? What's my description? Who provides this agent? Uh, what they can do, we have this idea of skills. So agents have things that they can do, the things that they can accomplish, which they expose via their skills. And these are like kind of loosey-goosey things, right? Like not, not a, a, a typed schema describing exactly the inputs and outputs, but more of a general description of like, oh, I can help you manage your calendar, things like that. Um, and then finally, how to contact them. So that's the protocol has some optional parts to it and uh, various different transports that we're looking at. So the agent card is the place for you to expose, like, this is the specifics of the things that I support in the protocol. Um, the second component is an RPC interface. So as of our uh, version 0.2 specification, this is a JSON RPC definition. Um, but we're also looking at uh, gRPC, that's coming out in 0.3, and also investigating a more REST-like interface. Uh, the, the interface is really down to one core method. Um, we try to keep it simple, like agentic interactions are, can be complicated, and so we wanted to kind of like allow the, the single method to kind of capture the complexity and not dictate it specifically with the protocol. Um, and that single RPC is really just about sending a message to an agent. So you send it, you send it some content via text or structured data or file content, and um, the rest of the protocol is around like, how do I receive the response from the agent, right? So we have a, we have a blocking request response, so I send a request to an agent and I wait for it to finish the thing and then it, it responds to me with some, some uh, results. Um, and then we have a, a, an SSE version, service sent events, where uh, you can receive a stream of updates as the, the agent makes um, progress on your task. And then finally, we uh, support push notifications because we expect that there will be situations where agents are performing such long running work that uh, maintaining an open channel for them is probably not feasible. And so you want to receive webhook push notifications from them. Um, we designed this thing to uh, support uh, basically black boxing agents. All we're trying to do is define the pipe between agents, like what, what is the request response data structures uh, and task management that we need in order for agents to kind of collaboratively work on tasks together. The actual stack, the, like agent framework, the LLM that you're using, you, you don't even need to use an LLM, right? You could, you could write deterministic code if you wanted to. Who does that these days? But uh, that's, th this is what we're, we're, we're looking for. Um, so uh, I want to take the opportunity to talk about some of the upcoming things in the specification, um, some things that are kind of near and dear to me as someone who worked on them. Um, after we launched Adway, we saw like a ton of interest in people building agents across various domains. And they uh, asked the question very reasonably of like, how do I accomplish the thing I actually want to accomplish? Well, I need a little bit more structure. Your, your, uh, your pipe is, is very generic, which allows me to send things, but I uh, need to be able to get a little bit more structured. 
And so for that, we're introducing this idea of extensions. Um, extensions are a way for people to introduce additional specifications that layer on top of the A2A spec. Um, they don't require input from the core A2A team. They don't require us to like approve your extension. You kind of uh, create, publish it, advocate for it independently. And then we provide you a place in the agent card to expose this and negotiate. Um, next. Uh, we have a lot of people, you know, like I said, people are building agents. And uh, some people want to accumulate all of those agents in one place. So they want a registry for uh, available agents. Like, how do, I, how do I determine all the agents that I could potentially call? And so there's, there have been people requesting uh, the uh, protocol for how do I like discover what agents are available. And for that, we have a registry proposal that's on our GitHub. So um, this is something that we posted pretty, pretty recently. I encourage everyone to check it out, provide input, take a look, see if it works for you. Um, and finally, uh, something that I'm personally looking very closely into is uh, the idea of trust and agent identity. Um, as people start building out more and more agents and we try and connect agents, you, you start to really rapidly uh, determine like, do I actually trust this agent to do the thing I, I want it to do? Right? Like if I provide it some sensitive information, is it going to just take that and send it to someone I don't want it to do? Um, and so. Uh, Identity, trust, and reputation are all things that we're very uh, actively considering. Um, so if you're interested in those topics, definitely come find me afterwards. And I, I want to hear about it. I want to hear your thoughts. Uh, and the next thing I wanted to do was kind of address what some might consider to be the elephant in the room, right? Um, we, we've decided, we, hey, we have this problem state. When we, uh, we know we need to be able to connect agents together. And I think a very reasonable question to ask is, is there already a protocol out there that could help you? Uh, that could solve this problem for you. And um, I, I think right now, right, you say agents and protocol together, and people think model context protocol, right, MCP. And so do, does MCP work for this? Um, to address that, I kind of want to talk a little bit about tools first. So I present to you a very simplified version of how agents interact with tools, which is you provide a request that has some data, and at some point in the future, you get a response. Uh, this might be like a long-running request where you receive a stream of updates. Um, it could be success or it could be failure, but you kind of expect it to respond in some way or another. And there's generally a pretty well-defined interface for how you interact with this tool. And the tool can do the thing that you're looking for or it can't. And MCP makes a lot of sense for this. It's, it's definitely taken off as the protocol for interacting with tools. Agents are a little weirder. Um, like I said with the skills, right, they're, they're a little bit like ambiguous. There's, there's more like a negotiation process that happens when you interact with, a, with an agent. Uh, they're a collaborator. You guys are attempting to solve a problem together, right? And so an agent can, you can request an agent to do something and it can respond to you and say, um, sure, I can do that, but I need some additional information from you. Or how about this other way that you should do it, right? We, I have a better way for you to solve the problem that you're attempting to solve. Or I can do part of what you're looking for, but not the whole thing. So I will go ahead and go and do that part, but it's up to you to take on the rest. And so we need a way of capturing that flexibility and the back and forth that we kind of expect. And that's why A2A is oriented around tasks. But both of these things deserve to exist together. Right? We, we're seeing a landscape of solutions in agents starting to develop. MCP is one protocol on that landscape. A2A is another protocol on that landscape. And I think we'll see more in the future. As people continue to work in this space, more things will start to develop and clarify. Um, I wanted to take a second to talk about the process of open sourcing. This was uh, a huge success for us. Um, so very happy for it. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but there are actually a lot of really high quality developers who just contribute their free time to open source. And uh, it's been amazing. Uh, I get all of these really high quality, well thought out issues filed with me. Uh, and some very colorful ones, right? Like my, one of my favorites was someone filing an issue called sign agent cards for the love of God, right? <laughs> I like, I, I agree with you, <laughs> we should do that. Uh, the specifics where it gets hard, but uh, yeah, let's do it. Um, so it's been, it's been fantastic. And uh, I wanted to give another shout out to all of our partners, AWS, Cisco, Google, Microsoft, Salesforce, SAP, and ServiceNow that are joining us on working on A2A as part of the Linux Foundation. So another uh, thank you to all of them for helping out with that. Um, thank you guys very much for listening. Uh, I have a QR code here that is definitely not a recall. It is a link to our GitHub. So um, please check that out uh, and come interact with us and help build a spec. Thank you, guys.